Alright, hey guys, and welcome to the final installment of the Nax Ramis Basic Run, where I only use pre built or pre constructed um, basic decks to beat Nax Ramis. Uh, let's just get started. And uh, this time is the, it's the last installment, so I am going to be going to do the Frostworm Lair. My massive Frostworm awaits! Dress warm. Heh, <laughs> Frostworm. Dress warm. Haha, <laughs> see what you did there. Um, destroy all minions that aren't frozen, but you do get a 3 8 gnome, I believe. Um. To defeat him, you could. Yeah, these are the basic deck that I was talking about. You don't construct it. These are all constructed decks. So I'm not going to use those. I'm using these that are pre-constructed. That actually, the decks that actually came with the game. And uh, for this, I think I'm going to... Um, Warrior's bad. So I'm just going to use Mage. Actually, Warrior's not that, that bad. Some of the minions are pretty bad because they have battle cries to summon another minion. Especially because the other minion is weaker, you want to put it to the right of the gnome at all, at all times, so that's pretty bad. Otherwise, it's not too, too bad. Because it has five, it has uh, weapons, and it has, uh... Wow, that was a loud you roar. Asked for it has weapon and it has the heroic strike so it's not all bad but uh, I don't know what to do here do I generally I think I generally want to keep this hand but I, at the same time I don't have any early game now so I'm now nah, okay. whatever should be fine oh it's a 210 well Look at that I'm mistaken. He used to be an interloper like yourself. Uh, he really? That that's kind of pitiful, then. Let me just cycle the no. I hope you like my invention. Let me cycle the novice engineer. So what I get? Oh, came as host. That did absolutely nothing. Congratulations. Oh no, a coin. Oh no, it's not, not a tutu. Oh no, a shade. Oh no, it's dead. Can I kill a shade and deal one damage to that, please? Or the other way around. And I get another draw. Okay. Good news is that's not dead. Stop hiding behind that block of ice. Never make me. He's gonna freeze it, but he's still gonna attack into it. AI's for the win. Really don't want to that. He wants to kill this. What I'm talking about. Face. Because actually, this is probably the same as that right now, so. Doesn't really matter. Oh! Oh! That just meant I saved the card. 
So, Cone of cold. Oh, cheating That's kind of useless. I'm going to think that. A minion. Oi. Oi. I'm gonna draw two cards, see what happens. I really don't need to though. Nothing much. This, that, this turn. Now to the trade. Doesn't really kill this, doesn't really kill this. Kills that and I get to ping it next turn. Saffron, freeze of blood in your veins. So first things first, I'm gonna I should have done that. I should not have done that. Ready to ride! Taste my steel! Nothing. Yeah, he has no cards. Uh, Crush the hell out of Ross Galisk. Ice lands this. Another one. That was supposed to do or accomplish, but oh, I have multiple ways of getting exactly though. Five plus four plus two is eleven. I don't have eleven mana, so I'll just never know do what this. I can. <laughs> Saffron is pretty easy. I say Saffron is pretty easy. Apparently he doesn't like me. All right. This next fight will not be easy. I hear the boss is all powerful and very handsome. Um, I like to disagree. All powerful, maybe handsome? No. But yeah, I like. I want to use priest here because um, I can shower pain those uh, three threes with taunts. And there's no frost bolts in the deck, so obviously I can't choose me. Warlock would be fine too, I guess. Because you do have the Hellfire to get rid of those three threes. Actually, I think Warlock might actually be better. It's almost as if you're going up against a hunter with ten. The light shall bring victory. How naive. Don't you remember what happened to Uther? Nope. No clue. The floor drop. Actually, I could. I get it back anyway. All right. <laughs> Actually, I should have kept the. Oh. Okay. 
That was keepable. I guess. I will freeze the blood in your veins. You will now, will you? Put a raptor here. That's true. Hopefully he doesn't kill it. If he does kill it, I'm just gonna kill myself. That's for no reason. Um, please, no shadow. Nox Thank the Lord. What do I get? Useless for now. What do I get? Still useless. Face. Ready. Uh, do they now? So this kills that. Heal this. Heal this. Shoot that. <laughs> yeah, I guess I do that. Heal this. Someone called for the darkness. Damn, stand ready. That's annoying. Two one is dead. In my face. So I guess I play a Yeti this turn. Give you the benefit of using that. So that that's a card, but no. Do I wanna do this? Um, oh crap. Yeah, I wanna do this. idea why he did that. Second core hound. Reason. 
And this time to draw. Injured? the sun well. the pre-built ones and that's it that that's how you beat Nax Ramus with only basic decks the pre-built basic decks I hope you guys enjoyed this these episodes and um, gonna be doing Black Rock Mountain next with only pre-built basic decks I guess um, I don't know if they'll work or not. I know one of them um, I actually had trouble with because of uh, it only has like a 1% win rate, theoretically. I think it's uh, you have to get exact the exact three or six cards in your hand to win. That's um, Boulder Fist. Uh, Mark of the Wild, and and uh, Healing Touch, and obviously it's Druid. Um, but yeah, other than that, I don't think any other deck would win. That's basic in, against uh, Dracathak, a uh, Drac attack, Dracathak, Drac Dracath. Getting tongue tied here. What the heck is that guy's name? Did you take a wrong turn? Drakasath. The back button is at the bottom of your screen. So yeah, uh, the boss's name is uh, Drakasath. And um, yeah, this does it for Nax Ramis. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Now, see you guys later.